So, first of all, thank you for doing this interview with us. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Very appreciated. It's good to meet you. Um, now, uh, the title, it's in French, so I might, I might completely Go ahead. it. The Enfant Sauvage? Yeah, pretty good then. Pretty good, okay. It means the wild child, correct? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind writing the, the album and the title for it? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just, we're just making music, you know? Music? <laughs> right on. No, no, no. Of course, I can answer that. Uh, the L'Enfant Sauvage means, you know, it's, uh, it's imagine a child that would grow up in the forest, like Mughal, you know? Like, okay. uh, the Book of the Jungle? How did, what's the name of that? The uh, Jungle Book? The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. The yeah, Jungle okay. Book. Yeah. yeah, that's basically this. It's, it's a child growing up with animals and plants and uh, not um, influenced by society and other humans, you know? That's Fair the enough. idea. Uh, that, that what, that's what it, me it means, really. It's not the wild child, like someone like uh, out of control. That guy crazy, yeah. Exactly. Right on. So um, that's the main difference, and that's why I, I really didn't want to call the album the wild child. It was like, you know. So, so you made it fresh, right? Yeah. Okay. L'Enfant Sauvage it sounds like more uh, mysterious, and uh, there's more behind it. Right on. And uh, it, it basically the reason why we call it is because that's how we feel in general, in our, you know, inside somehow. Uh, with the world in general, you know, the world is so crazy, it's so violent, and so, a lot of things don't make sense at all, you know. Um, we do, I feel like we need to, as a humanity, as a species, we need to upgrade a little bit, you know, we need to grow up and to... Yeah, we need to be more mature and more responsible. More mature, yeah. yeah. And uh, being more mature and more responsible doesn't mean boring. You know, it can be exciting. It could be better. It can be, you know, right, right. exactly. So, so that's that's the idea behind the, the title. You know. Okay. Yeah. So, would you say you have a more emotional connection with this album than you had in the past? With uh, oh no, I'm so uh, no? It's, it's so much passion all the time. You know, like since we started, like since we were kids. Even I remember listening to music. It was the same passion, like as a listener. Uh, so that's why I understand our fans, you know, when they're like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, with them, you know, because I know how they feel, you know, because right. uh, I'm, I'm a fan, you know, a big music fan, and uh, the passion is, is the same, intact, man, it's like a really, it's really something. Uh, of course, we have ups and downs, you know, sometimes we feel tired, or we just, we don't really want to go on tour, or whatever, but, but we have big ups, you know, like we're like, yeah, and right now it's really up, like we feel pumped for the new album and happy to play live and all that, so it's great. Cool. Train right by, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, you uh, co-produced this album. Um, I don't yes. know how much you've had involved with your hands-on work. You've been involved with the producing of the albums before, but do you feel privileged that you were able to co-produce this and have your hands on the, that uh, side of the production? Not privileged because I, that's what I do, you know, I mean, like, since the, the start, I, I always produce albums. And producing have. an album means uh, giving a direction and being uh, at every step of the way, you know, being completely present, you know, so... Uh, Composing, putting the riffs together, uh, doing some pre-pros, and then uh, the recording process. Like, the, the what are we gonna do now? Like, play punk or play super tight, uh, one shot or like one take. I mean, or several takes. Um, what kind of room for the drums? All that. I'm really passionate about all this. And then the mixing, and then the mastering. I'm. I was the, you know, the the shepherd of the album. You know, I was. I was. I, I walked. Through every step uh, on this album, and that's what I always do. Right. And for the first time, we had someone, you know, Help you. helping. Yes. You know, so uh, it was actually uh, something to learn how to work with someone. And Josh Wilbur, who uh, co-produced with me, did a, an amazing job. And we um, it took us took us a couple of weeks to find. Okay, what are you doing here exactly? What am I doing here? And, and let's find a way to be together on that. And we we found it. You know. He, was was that process hard trying to let somebody else in to, to take over a little bit? And uh, it, it is it is hard. It's not easy because it's our baby. You know oh, this yeah. album. This, this music is our baby, and uh, we want to do like imagine you have a baby and your mother comes in the house and she said, "No, you shouldn't put this uh, diapers like this." And you're like, "Whoa, this is my baby!" <laughs> right. You know that's right. What, how people react. So that's how I reacted with Josh, of course, at the beginning, but. 
but he's a he's a clever guy and he uh, he's very talented so confident he knew how to uh, get the best out of us that was his main thing that he did like very he did an excellent job at this he pushed us really hard on you know the the, the performance you know especially on the singing for example he uh, he was um, driving me a lot of times you know uh, to my maximum helping me you know to give my maximum to articulate better all these small details that matter at right the end, you just know. gave you a little extra push to yeah. help things get to where they need to be at the level cool yeah. um so this tour uh you guys were originally supposed to be a supporting uh, yeah. band with and uh, we're not gonna really get into that i mean no of the course. unfortunate events that happened um uh, was it complicated to jump from a supporting tour to... Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Well, actually, uh, Taylor, because my tour manager right here, my man right here, <laughs> he could sit here and talk about this, but okay. uh, I don't know if you want to do that. But, uh... Hey, come here, dude. Come here. Just sit down. Right in. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was, it was uh, a big challenge to jump from this tour to uh, all of a sudden something completely different than club shows. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you have a word to say about that? Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, with with the show that you want to give for a head it's not something that, it's something that you want to methodically kind of prepare oh, yeah. and be perfect, you know? Right. Right? It has to be perfect because the impression has to be just this great, huge thing. Uh, on the support tour, obviously there's a bit less pressure and you know that you're going to reach out to as many people regardless, right? right? And you don't have to play as many songs, uh, not as many new songs from the new record, of course, and uh, so it kind of just changes the whole aspect of the tour at the last minute with very little time. I think we uh, announced these shows within uh, 10 or 12 days. Uh, of, of yeah, the beginning was, of the yeah, tour, was, right? And yeah. so I think the numbers that, that already that we've done since the announcement of this tour have been great, and it, it, it says a lot That's at the same know. time. So. And the logistic was also something to, like, we were supposed to start in Vancouver. Right. Uh, we started in New York, you know, and we decided that at the last minute. So all the partners, you know, like, but most of the time people don't see that aspect and they don't think about it, they don't need to think about this anyway. But right. there's so much shit to uh, send, you know, to, to ship, you know, like the the amps and the, our partners, you know, all they send us from, guitars and stuff. For France, all that, you know, all over the place, but uh, a lot of it comes from California, so it was kind of uh, convenient uh, from LA to Vancouver was okay, you know, the guitars, the drums and all that, and last minute, oh, hold on, don't send anything, you want to send it to New York and make sure that, so this guy uh, uh, took care of all that, like it. I know it's kind of strange that I invite him in the oh, interview, but I mean he's, but he's part of the project, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we have a couple of people working around the band. Uh, Taylor is, is one of them. Uh, we have uh, you know management company. We have a business manager. We have a, a full crew, sound guy, light guy, and, uh, other people also, um, a touring agent and all that. So it's all these people working together, thousands of emails per day, like. Uh, it's, it's good that you guys pulled it together and pulled it through. I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing you guys, and you know they, when they found out that you guys were still playing here, they, yeah. got, they, they were happy that it was happening. Unfortunately, we don't get to see the other bands as well, but I mean everybody is happy. Yeah, of course. But through, they so. will they will tour anyway. Oh yeah, know? there's there's gonna be. A... Unfortunately, I don't think we will be touring with Lamb of God on this on this tour that they uh, postponed. Okay. But uh, because we have a schedule, you know, we we were supposed to be in Europe at this time, so it's not gonna work. But I'm sure they're gonna bring someone uh, really interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move off that subject because that's we could talk about thanks, that man. forever. So, <laughs> thanks. Um, now, when you write your lyrics, you write in English. I mean, does that come naturally, or is that something that you just consciously made the decision that you were going uh, to no, go to a broader audience? Yeah, it's completely natural yeah. for me to do that because, well, most uh, first of all, we are inspired by um, English bands, American bands, even German bands or Italian bands. They sing in English too because you know English is the language of rock. Yeah, it's kind of universal. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, it's 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 a universal language. It's not to be friends with Americans or English. It's just to speak to the world. You know, it's a different uh, scenario. Okay. Uh, but um, also, it's the language of rock. Yeah. Like you said, Italian would be the language of uh, opera. Okay. Right on. Makes sense. Okay. So um, now I hear uh, Mario. He's a he's a 
artist who paints, draws, and he's turned like the touring into a nonstop art session. So, uh, is that true? Does he do that? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Does yeah. he does he design all the artwork for you guys, or is that done by somebody else? Uh, I do this usually. I did all the covers for the band, and oh, okay. uh, yeah, him and I, we uh, we're both you know into painting and, uh, and drawings and all that, but. Uh, he, he produces way more than I do, like he, in one day he will make like 10 paintings, you know, very uh, spontaneous things with Chinese ink, he just throws on the paper and and he sells this for $10, you know what I mean, like it's, he's, he's not pretentious about it, he's just doing this, like it's fun for him to do that, and it's actually very good. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of what he's doing. Yeah, I haven't really seen any of his stuff. I, I just, I heard he was an artist and yeah. I assumed that he did all the artwork, but I guess yeah. you do all this, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, I actually subscribed to your guys' YouTube channel and oh, I, saw, cool. I saw the, the, uh, the uh, Gorgilla takes over YouTube and uh, I yeah. saw all the videos you guys posted, all the different music you guys listen to. Um, being uh, as you guys like so many different styles of music, yeah. and you guys actually aren't really big metal heads, right? I, you guys yeah. don't listen to a lot of metal, right? From what I hear. <clears throat> yeah. What, um, what drives you to continue writing metal instead of making, you know, uh, of I don't know. There's stuff. something for us. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting question, but it, it's. Um, I would love to be in a band like Radiohead, for example. You know, like that kind of music is really uh, what I like to listen to mostly, actually. But metal is for us uh, an incredibly rich uh, playground for us. You know, we have a lot of, uh, I guess, still have a lot of anger and stuff like that to release, to get rid of, you know? Okay. And metal is perfect for that. You know? A lot of intensity. And uh, it's very challenging technically. Like, we have a lot of fun doing this. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing it. Cool, we're doing makes it. sense. Um, and a question I wanted to ask about sort of relating to Sea Shepherd EP. Yeah. I know you guys had some issues with that and everything. Uh, yes. You had some hard drive issues, I guess. Um, Unfortunately, yeah. Actually, I didn't want to talk about the EP. I wanted to talk about the Sea Shepherd organization. They actually got a vessel the same year you guys uh, announced that you were going to release that EP or record that EP. Yes. And they named it Gojira. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with you guys at all? Is... Officially, no. No? Officially, no, but... Uh... I think this, yeah, it's not. You think you guys? Yeah, it's not a it? total coincidence. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now you guys are in Chicago. Uh, yeah. You guys have you guys checked out any Chicago food? In the, you oh, know, we're. Uh, you know or? what? We have a day off tomorrow here, yeah. and we uh, we look forward to uh, you know go to restaurants and we have we have a lot of stuff that we need. we don't even know what to pick you know because we have a lot of stuff we want to do here. Yo, and Chicago's it's like very the exciting. Food mecca. I mean, like. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. There's I know a lot that. of stuff to try here. You'll get fat if you stay here too long. You know? Yeah. So we we we're off in two days. So it, yeah, you probably <laughs> won't have that problem. Um, so uh, finally, uh, do you guys have any, or do you have any messages that you'd like to tell your fans? Just uh, well, right uh, there, like... you know, we're very, we feel blessed to uh, to do what we do, and uh, like I, I always say that, like at the end of the interview, when someone asks me, but uh, I just want to say thank you, guys, for your support, you know, and uh, uh, and that's it, man. Like uh, really, you know, honestly, it's like it's it's very precious. I realize that more how every person coming to a show makes a difference every person buying a shirt or a CD or just buying a song sure, yeah. their support yeah it's uh, it's a lot of um, it's it's very very precious very important for us so thank you to all of you who support our band well thank you for doing thank the interview you. with us and thank uh, you very much look forward to seeing the show okay thanks okay I have to run because we have a sound check right now okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah go ahead take out all right thank you man, thanks, man. take care thank guys. You.